I just can't believe it, but my skin has changed. My skin is dry AF. You know how shocked I got when I first saw wrinkles on my cleavage area? Dare I? Where are my soul sisters? Let me hear ya flow, sister. So today I'm gonna be talking about how my skin has changed. I mean, you guys, I've been in the YouTube scene for about seven to eight years now on my personal channel, and I, I just can't believe it, but my skin has changed. A lot of it does have to do with my age. <laughs> I do have to. <laughs> yes, it is the aging, you know, a chunk of it, a huge chunk of it, it is the aging. But another part of it, I think it definitely has to do with my daily habits, my environment, the weather, and everything else. So I wanted to tell you some of the things that has changed for me personally when taking care of my skin, and also the products that have changed in my skincare routines and things like that. So it's gonna be a fun one and interesting one, so let's get started. All right, so the first one is that I could finally freaking tolerate more stronger actives. I do have sensitive skin still, and I have reactive skin where if I touch it or whatever, it just becomes red at that very moment, but it, it you know calms down right away. I have acne prone skin. I still have combination skin, oily T-zone and dry U-zone. But I've noticed that my skin is good. It's like, it's gangster. I mean, it could tolerate more things now. I'm just so like proud of my skin. Of course, a lot of it has to do with something that my skin is stronger now and healthier. But before, for example, if I came across a vitamin C product that was like higher than 10%, I would automatically just put it down or I would like be very careful on adding that into my routine while testing it out. But you know what I realized is that overall, the formulation of the product is the more important part. Even if it's like higher active with, you know, 15% vitamin C, pure ascorbic acid, or uh, if, even if it's like a vitamin derivative, whatever it may be, it's the overall completed formulated product that you have to see if it's gonna work for you or not. I am using higher percentages of actives, especially vitamin C. And I wanted to introduce you to the first product and this is the Medicube C 13.5% Deep Vita C Ample. I love this. I think before I was so scared, I used it only like one to two times maybe every two weeks into my routine when I really wanted to incorporate a vitamin uh, C product, but I love this. Now I can use it maybe four to five times a week and it's fine. I use it for night routine only. You can use it for day routine, but of course, you know, we have to wear sunscreen, no matter what you're doing, you know, even if you're wearing a vitamin C product or not, of course we're gonna wear sunscreen, right? Right, my unicorn? But anyways, this is such a great product and I've been seeing such amazing results with this. There's so many benefits of vitamin C, you know? It not only helps to remove or um, lighten hyperpigmentation, but it's amazing for dark spots or sunspots, which I have a lot of now, especially because I'm golfing more and like having more time in outdoors. And not even that, but I think just overall, my skin looked super dull and dry and just not like feeling it for a long time. But after I started adding this, it's just so amazing. It does have a typical scent of a vitamin C product that I really don't like. It does feel sticky afterwards, but I feel like everything else is so worth it. And another ingredient that I can tolerate a little bit better is retinol. I have to be honest, I'm still looking for like products and testing out other things so that I could find the one and two that I absolutely love and my skin can tolerate really well. But this one, the Biowistrain Vitamin A Amazing Bakuchio Night Cream, this is really good. But when I first started testing it out, I my skin on the nose area started peeling a little bit. So what I did was I added less frequency and I sandwiched the crap out of it. So I made sure to put toner, serum, cream, and then I used a little amount of this cream right here, which definitely helped. So it's very important, of course, to follow the directions, but you gotta make sure that you test it out on your own. Maybe frequency-wise or the um, amount of the product, how you use it in different steps, or if you use it for morning and night routine or whatever it may be, you do have to test it out and you have to find the right way that works for you. And speaking of, I have been loving this line from Isanox and it's a retinol precursor. And 
Look at this beautiful gift set right here. Now, if you have heard of Isanox, this is one of the OG K beauty brands. They launched in 1995. I remember I used to use Isanox from my mom's like vanity. So I'm so happy that I have my own now. And I know my mom's gonna steal it though. She steals all of my skincare products. But I love this um, Prime Pro Retinol line. And the main product is the Double Effect Ample Skin and the Emulsion. And then you can test out the other products and it's in sample sizes. But I just feel like because it is a retinol precursor, it's much more mild, but it's still, for me, I feel like this set is amazing for skin elasticity and like fine wrinkles. So your skin looks more plumped and I have been loving this. And the texture is really light too. And you can use it for both day and night routine, which just makes things so much easier in my life. And with this gift set, you can do actually a full routine. First, I use a true cleansing foam, uh, which has exfoliating effect, plus a refreshing finish, which I feel like it's perfect for the upcoming warmer weather. And also um, I move on to the Double Effect Ample Skin. This is one of my favorite products from the line and it has a very light yet viscous, like milky texture. I love how quickly it just sinks in, how quickly my skin just drinks it up. And I love the way it smells. It has like a hint of flowery, but powdery scent too. Then I move on to the Double Effect Serum. This has a thicker consistency. It's rich and I love it though. For a serum, I love these kind of thick textures. And then I use the Double Effect Emulsion. It's a very easy pump type. Um, I just like squirt out like two to three pumps and I just rub it all over my face. I love actually using this for the weather right now. It's getting warmer in Korea at spring. I feel like I could use it towards summer and until the fall as well. Then I finish off with this perfect texture of an eye cream. I personally don't like it if an eye cream is too thick because I have amelia prone skin, but this one is not too thick. It's not too light either. So this one I have been loving. This gift set from Isanox, I think you guys will love it. And especially it's under LG. It's backed up with years of expertise and um, technology. That's one of the reasons why I love it. And that's why it's probably been around for such a long period of time. So if you are a true fan of K-Beauty and you're like, yo, I want to use one of the you know, first OG brands, you know, of K-Beauty, this is a great set to test out. And there is a promotion on Amazon US called, you know, LG Beauty Week. So you can check out Isanox and other brands under LG as well. So this set, you guys can get up to 40 percent discount including my 10 percent additional code so keep that in mind so the second thing that has changed for my skin is that my skin is dry af uh-huh i mean it has to do a lot with having more of mature skin i feel like but every time these days i go to a dermatologist or like a skincare clinic or some type of project and they analyze my skin they're like two things one, oh my gosh, your skin is so dry. And then the other thing, oh, you have a lot of hyperpigmentation and dark spots that's gonna come up later. So I think you need to focus on that. Those are the two things that I hear the most. I always had combination skin, but now I do have more concerns of dry skin and it's driving me crazy. Let me tell you like a situation. I was using this fantastic routine that I absolutely loved for a long period of time. And then it just didn't work for me. I said, what's wrong with my skin? In the morning, it just looks so dull and like crusty and just, ah. Oh. And I was just like, okay, I think I need to start adding something in. And I did mini testings for about three months and I came out with the best tip for my skin. I use two different creams now for my T-zone and for my U-zone. I mean, it's not like a wow kind of factor, but it works. On my T-Zone, I use the Medicube one. I've talked about this so much on my channel these days, especially for my T-Zone. This is great. Medicube, they do have really good lines for pore care. I love their Medicube Pore Zero line. And if you have oily skin too, you're gonna benefit so much from it. I love this line too. This is the red line and I love their cream. They do have other toners and serums. So if you do have acne prone skin, um, an oily skin type, and you're looking for something um, that can help with the breakouts, I feel like this is a great line to check out. I love the red cream. That's my favorite. They did have a weird texture before, but they have renewed it now. So it's perfect. It's so nice. Everything sinks in really nicely. It works great under makeup but I only use it for my T-zone because if I use the whole thing of this and that's it, my skin will look so dry. 
the next morning. But when I use this only on my T-zone and I add a thick ass cream on the U-zone, that was like the magic calculation or the magic formula that I was looking for. I don't know how my skin's gonna be in the summer because it's the first time that I realized that my skin is dry AF and then I'm like, you know, summer is coming in my life. But I realized within the past three months that I need thick ass creams. So these two are the ones that I've been using. First one is the eye sewing one. This is so freaking thick and it's slimy. It leaves a slimy finish too. So personally for me, I love using gua sha's afterwards or I love like doing massages, like facial massages afterwards, but it does have a slimy finish. So some of you guys that might not like these kind of consistencies will be like, no, thank you. But if you have skin that's dry AF, this is gonna be your new best friend. This has so many antioxidants and great ingredients for firming, anti-aging and brightening, and it just gives your skin a youthful and fresh complexion. And this one is a Pyongang Yul Black Tea Enriched Cream. I learned so much from Dr. Dre's uh, videos, Lab Muffin Science, and other influencers that mainly focus on skincare, and I'm just so grateful. So I saw Dr. Dre's video and she was talking about this line that she was talking about, especially this, a cream that it's thick. And I was like, okay, I need to try this. A lot of uh, Pyongyang your products or creams that I've tried, it wasn't as thick. It had really light consistency. It was amazing for my acne prone skin. But this one is super thick. This one, the main ingredient is antioxidant rich fermented black tea. If you have dry, mature, dehydrated skin, you will see the best results from it. All right, so let me tell you the third thing that I feel like my skin has changed. I need more exfoliation. I need to add it in more into my routine. And before, I would use an enzyme powder wash because I have sensitive skin, right? That worked really well for me. I used it about one to two times a week and enzyme powder washes, it just did the magic trick. Now it's just not enough. My dead skin cell is getting peskier and peskier. And this one has a lot to do with aging. As we age, our cell turnover rates slow down. Cell turnover cycle means the speed of constant shedding dead skin cells and later replacement with healthy younger cells. So this includes our face, scalp, body, legs, a bottom of our feet, just all over. So that's why the older the skin, dead skin cells sits on the uppermost layer longer. Now here's a chart for you guys. I Googled it, I found it. I feel like it's gonna be very helpful. That's why I've added so much more frequency um, into my routine with these products. This is like my favorite for exfoliation these days. This is the Isn't Tree Chestnut BHA 2% Clear Liquid. This just works beautifully on my skin. And personally for me, I like to use it in my toner step or it's very watery. You can use it right after your toner too. So like toner and then this product and then move on with your serum, whatever floats your boat. But it works best for me when I use it after my toner. It doesn't sting, it doesn't irritate my skin. And before, I think I would probably add this like one to two times a week. But even if I add it three to four times a week or even sometimes five times a week, it still works for me. And I'm just really surprised of how much my skin has changed compared to even just a year or like two years before. But this is a great product, especially if you are looking for a BHA one. And another thing is I did not like peeling gels much on my skin. I was always a fan of enzyme powder washes. I was always a fan of BHA or AHA products, but now I love peeling gels. This is definitely a different category that I have been loving. I feel like sometimes with AHA or BHA, like you need to see it, you need to put it on, but it takes time for it to exfoliate. So you need to maybe put it on the night before and then the, the day afterwards, you'll be able to see the results, right? You can't really see instant gratification, but peeling gels is something that uses like gomage so that you can see a clear before and after. This one, the Real Barrier Clear Peeling Gel, this is one of the most gentle peeling gels that I've ever tried. I love this one. It's highly recommended for um, sensitive skin types or dry skin types. And another product that I have been loving is these right here. This is from Mom's Bath Recipe. So this is like a one-time use scrubbing towel. It's an easy pouch type, so you can stick your hands in it. It has two different sides. One is a little bit harsh, so I use it for like pesky areas like under my feet and stuff like that. But the other side is very gentle and I love using it for the whole body. So Speaking of my body, one thing that has also changed is I get freaking wrinkles at different random ass areas that I didn't before. 
You know how shocked I got when I first saw wrinkles on my cleavage area? I was like, what the freak? I mean, <laughs> I was so shocked. I don't know when, I think it was sometime last year, I saw it. I had little fine lines on my cleavage area and around this area. A lot has to do with my posture too, but dude, I was like so shocked. Of course, when you first see your like wrinkles around the eye area, you're like, but you're gonna start seeing them on your body too, man. I mean, get ready. But let's make sure to take care of our body before and prevent as much as we can. One of the simple things that I do now is I apply lotion onto my body after I take a shower. Sometimes it's still very annoying. I hate that feeling of putting on a lotion and then when it's still, still not fully absorbed in, you have to wear your clothes. I hate that. That's one of my pet peeves. However, it's better than getting wrinkles on your body, you know what I'm saying? Prevent that as much as you can. So the next product that I wanted to show you is this one. This is so good. It was hard for me to find a body specific lotion or cream that has exfoliating effect. This one from Paula's Choice has 10% AHA. So this is called the Skin Revealing Body Lotion. I love the texture, very light, like an emulsion. It soaks into your skin. It feels really fresh afterwards. I don't feel like it feels sticky nor uncomfortable. This is fragrance free and it improves body skin tone and texture. It's a really good body cream to exfoliate dead pesky skin cells. And the brand does recommend to not use it after shaving. And they also tell you to don't use it on parts with open wounds or scars so just keep those two things in mind and if you're looking for a body product this is so amazing another one that i want to highly recommend for the upcoming hot and humid weather summer is definitely coming in korea is the tokdo lotion i love this from brown lab i know that the tokdo toner is like the number one you know selling toner it's so popular it's one of the best sellers from the brand but i think you should definitely check out the lotion too this is so amazing seriously i wasn't like much of an emulsion lover but this one i love this lotion it works great for your face and body and it's one of the best fluid type of high moisture content that i've ever tried it's so nice you guys and i just feel like you guys will love it all right guys speaking of our body wrinkles let me tell you guys the last thing that has really really changed for me did you guys know that your scalp ages 12 times faster than your body skin and your scalp ages six times faster than your face skin our face <sighs> can you imagine that this area is so important and I'm actually very, I was very angry at myself. Eunice, why didn't I know this before? I need to start taking care of my scalp. And you guys know that I did a recent video and ever since I tested out the products from that video, Ayunche, I have been adding in a scalp mask and scalp serum every time I wash my hair. All of us, we do have to keep in mind that our scalp is aging at the moment. This is the first spot that the sun hits too. So you have to imagine how much damage it gets every single day. So I'm gonna introduce you to two category of products for scalp that now I add in religiously in my routine. Okay, so one thing is scalp mask. You've heard a lot of hair mask, right? But most hair mask, you only apply on this area. It takes care of your hair. Now, this is for your scalp. And actually, I am having a promo on Amazon US with Ayunche. We have so many different lines for different skin concerns. But if you are like me and you do have concerns of hair loss prevention, this is such an amazing line. I love this. Um, I've used two tubs of this and it has made my scalp and hair so much stronger. This is the Ayunche Rebalancing Mask. It's a mask to improve scalp condition and for hair loss symptoms, making your scalp stronger protecting your hair from root to the tip. So this one, you can apply to both your scalp and your hair as well. It's just so, so, so easy. A mask for scalp is something that I use every single time I have a wash day, which is like every other two days or so personally for me. I think in the summer though, I will wash it probably every single day. Um, and I do have really good recommendations for shampoos to wash 
for really hot humid weather now that has extra like um, effect of deep cleansing getting rid of like the pesky like oiliness and stuff like that so i will link everything in the description do check it out they just restocked everything so you guys can check out the main video and kind of um see the details but one thing i just want to say thank you guys so much um they told me that we sold over like 400 um like you know like sets and products thank you guys so much for that second thing is a freaking hair serum sometimes it's called hair tonic this category this is like the toner serum whatever it may be this watery kind of textured product that you apply after your wash after you shampoo after you did your hair mask you know like after you rinse everything off and then you dry towel your hair that's when you apply this. So this Ayuncha Rebalancing Serum is mainly to hydrate and nourish your scalp and deliver prevention of hair loss and aid with hair loss symptoms. Just gently massage and soak everything in. It doesn't make your scalp greasy at all. This is very, very light. I mean, we spend so much money, effort, time on our face skin, but why don't we do that for our scalp and our body i think when i started putting lotion on even if i was so lazy to do it is when i really started to see the wrinkles on my cleavage or this area and i was like Shit. <laughs> oh excuse my language schmuck or like shoot i do have to you know i have to take care of, i okay <laughs> Dara, hi how are you do you want to say hi to our unicorns it's been hi. a while Okay, so what I was trying to say is that we spend so much, you know, caring for our face, but we do have to start caring for our body and scalp too. And one thing that I realized is prevention is the key. Once you get the wrinkles, once everything's like you lose it, it's really hard to, you know, bring that condition back into a healthier state. Prevention is the key, so keep that in mind. For the Ayunche hair care products, I do have a promo code for you right here, and I will link the main video so you guys can go check it out and see the details, okay? All right, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that this was very helpful. One thing to keep in mind is that everybody has different skin, and everybody has different skin concerns. Um, and everybody has different skin conditions at the moment. So it's really, really tricky at times, but sometimes it's kind of fun to kind of figure out what really works for you. And, um, but you know, I do have to admit, it can be frustrating at times to figure out what's good for you. But I hope that maybe my videos will be a bit helpful in finding the solution for you. So thank you guys always for your love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my unicorns. Bye. And can you drop in the comments below on maybe one thing that has changed for you for your skin?